Always can improve. Stressors reveal flaws. Flaws reveal potential. Always improving. Good. Abathur is one of the most difficult heroes to play, so if you're new to heroes, I recommend that you play all the other heroes before you play Abathur. If you're tired of being called AFK Abby, this video should help you. But first let's clear up some misconceptions about Abathur and how you gain experience for your team. The first way to gain XP is of course, from your body. Be aware that the range for gaining XP is rather small though, as you can see in this clip. The minion dies and was not close enough to the enemy minion to receive XP. This minion, however, was close enough. Because of this alone, positioning and moving your body to the correct place is crucial to playing Abathur correctly. More on positioning later. What about your Locust? How do they grant XP? The Locust will only grant XP if it last hits a minion. The same is true for your Monstrosity. It does not matter if your Locust is near the minion when the minion dies. You will not be awarded XP. The same rule applies with your mines. You only receive XP if your mines kill the enemy minions. Now your Symbiote, however, will grant XP by being nearby a minion that dies. Symbiote is your main skill to use. Use it primarily on player heroes and give them a nice bug hat since it is perfect for stabbing low enemies. Symbiote, not bug hat. Be careful when on quick heroes though, wait for their abilities to be used or you will likely miss with your staff. With Symbiote active, you can use Carapace to help defend an ally against death. That small shield can make all the difference. However, do not make the mistake of jumping into an outnumbered fight because you have a hat. It does not make you invulnerable. And always remember to be on the lookout for low enemies near minions to pick up a free kill. Toxic Nest should be used while your Symbiote is on cooldown. Use them for vision and place traps at high traffic areas for your opponents. In this clip, I place a trap at the entrance of the mines because heroes are likely to be hit by them. Then later, these mines help to save a Vala who is trying to run away. And in this clip, I run towards the mines I knew were set in order to help my battle against Gazlo. Use them defensively as well. If you are facing a Nova or Zeratul, place an S and pass where they have to walk by in order to attack you. For example, if you are sitting here, place nests in these areas so the explosion decloaks them and your turrets finish them off. The best counter to them searching for you though is to move often and being unpredictable. With Abathur, both of your heroic abilities are viable picks. Ultimate Evolution is the main reason why Abathur is a very hard hero to play. Like a master ditto trainer, you have to be familiar with every hero in case you need to clone that hero. A good rule of thumb is that if a team fight is happening, use your heroic. Other examples are cloning to help your teammate who is 1v1. Cloning the siege hero on your team to help defend against a strong push. And you can also use your clone as a sacrifice to ensure your teammates escape. Be aware that your clone does grant XP to your opponent. Monstrosity is a powerful tool to help Abathur push each lane simultaneously. New players will throw the monstrosity at the front of a wave which is then immediately killed. Instead, build up minions first, then send it to knock down forts with your locust waves while the team is off doing the objective of the map. Notice in this clip how after I clear a wave, I sent the monstrosity on its own and tunneled top to help the wave push. Then when the Vala shows up, I hark back since she would be looking for me. Knowing how to position on the map is the most important skill an Abathur player needs to learn. As Abathur, you have a global taunt for your head and to make matters worse, your locusts give away your position. So you need to move often especially if you are in one spot for too long since your opponent will be looking to find and kill you. Locusts only have a 25 second lifespan so you need to stay close to the minion waves to push or they will die on the way to the front of the wave. So if you are staying behind the base all game, you are not using Abathur's locust correctly if at all. Map awareness is crucial so your eyes should be glued to the lower right part of the screen the entire game. By knowing where your teammates and your opponents are, you can tunnel to the correct lane which will give you the most experience push the lane and force your opponents to try to counter you. Then you move again. Taking a look at the minimap from the previous clip as an example, notice the position my Abathur is in. I am not behind the turrets, but hiding in a bush for my body to gain XP from the minions that die. I am not in a lane which my teammates are in since they are already soaking XP for those lanes. And I'm not anywhere close to the enemy heroes because I kept track of where they are by watching the minimap. So let's test your positioning skills as Abathur. Take a look at this clip. You are in the base after ensuring your teammates pick up a kill. Taking a look at the minimap, where is the best place for you to position your body? It is the center lane. 
We already can see two teammates in the bot lane and one in the top. No one is in the center lane, so we need to go there to soak XP. You can easily walk your locus up with the wave here. Here's another example problem. The situation is the Garden Terror is up on the enemy team. Your teammates are all alive as well and you are about to spawn. You have three teammates mid fighting the plant who is moving towards top. One of your teammates has spotted three enemies doing merc camps. So looking at the minimap here, where do you tunnel? Correct answer is bot. If you pick top to help defend, while fine play is not the best play. Notice that you have giants helping your bot push. In chess, there is a tactic where you attack another viable piece, like the king or queen, if your opponent is threatening one of your pieces. Here the opposing team is threatening our top keep, so I responded by threatening their core. Vala is forced to retreat to answer my threat. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. 